welcome to kr tutorials in this video we are going to discuss trigonometric ratios of some specific angles so <coughs> six trigonometric ratios values in some specific angles so that specific angles here we are taking one time 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees so in that first, let us see when the angle theta equals to 45 degrees. When the angle value 45 degrees, what are the values of trigonometric ratios? So for that we are considering here one right angle isosceles triangle. So here one ABC is a right angle triangle as well as isosceles triangle. So if one angle is 90 degrees then we know that is a right angle triangle and here two sides are equal, these two sides are equal. So AB length is equal to BC length. So if in a triangle any two sides are equal then we know that is a isosceles triangle. So this is a right angle triangle and isosceles triangle. So here we are taking one right angle isosceles triangle. A, B, C. Right angle at B and A, B side, B, C sides are equal. Okay. <coughs> Consider triangle A, B, C isosceles right angle isosceles right angle triangle consider triangle ABC isosceles right angle triangle and make the right angle angle B equals to 90 degrees and angle AB uh, AB side let your AB side and BC side both are equal say for example that both are equals to A so that means this length is A this length is also A but see here, when this is a angle 90 degrees, then sum of the three angles 180. So sum of the three angle 180 means if B is 90 degrees, then A plus C equals to 90. But when these two sides are equal, their opposite angles also equal. See sum of the three angle 180 means already this is 90. So sum of A plus C value 90, angle A plus C value 90. But here angle A, C values are equal. Why? Because opposite sides, equal sides, opposite angles are equal. So when these two sides are equal, their opposite angles also equal. So A equals to C. This 90 we are dividing into two equal parts. Then each angle is equal to 45 degrees. So this one is 45 degrees and this one is also 45 degrees. So... <coughs> When AB equals to BC, then angle A equals to angle C, the two are equals to 45 degrees. See, if this length is A and this length is A, then we can find AC length by using Pythagoras theorem. See, by Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem, Okay, we can write AC square equals to AC square equals to AB square plus DC square. Then AC square equals to then AB square value small a square, DC square value small a square. Then AC square equals to 1 a square plus 1 a square, 2 a square. Then AC equals to on the root of 2 a square. Then AC equals to hypotenuse AC value root 2 square root is root 2 only A square square root is A so root 2 into A therefore this hypotenuse AC value is root 2 into A see now we you know three sides of a right angle triangle and angle 45 degrees now we can find six trigonometric ratios values so first let us see first one that is sin 45 degrees sin 45 degrees 
so sin 45 sin theta means what the ratio between opposite side to hypotenuse if you take this one as angle this one right? because both are 45 degrees so if you take this one 45 degrees as angle then it is opposite side then it is adjacent side and this one is hypotenuse so the ratio between opposite side to hypotenuse is known as sin theta so your opposite side length is what a by hypotenuse length is what root 2 into a so a by root 2 into a then a a cancel so 1 by root 2 therefore sin 45 value is 1 by root 2 so same like that second one cos 45 so cos 45 means the ratio between adjacent side to hypotenuse so your adjacent side length is also what a by hypotenuse root 2 into a again a cancel again cos 45 is also 1 by root 2 next to third one tan 45 so the ratio between opposite side to adjacent side so your opposite side length is what a adjacent side length is also a so a gets cancelled so 1 so therefore tan 45 value is 1 next fourth one that is cosec 45 degrees the ratio between hypotenuse to opposite side hypotenuse to opposite side hypotenuse value is root 2 into a by opposite side a a gets cancelled answer is root 2 so cosec 45 value is root 2 next fifth one that is sec 45 so the ratio between hypotenuse to adjacent side opposite side value root 2 a root 2 a by a a cancel so again sec 45 value is also root 2 next last one that is cot 45 so the ratio between opposite side to adjacent adjacent side adjacent side to opposite side so your adjacent side value a opposite also a both are cancel so 1 so cot 45 value 1 therefore sin 45 value 1 by root 2 cos 45 value 1 by root 2 tan 45 value 1 cosec 45 value root 2 sec 45 value root 2 cot 45 value 1 so these are the six trigonometric ratios values when the angle value is 45 degrees yeah. next when the angle value is 30 degrees or and 60 degrees so in the second case the angle value theta is 30 degrees and 60 degrees by considering only one triangle we can find all trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees and 60 degrees so for this we are considering one equilateral triangle so here now a b c is a one equilateral triangle so equilateral triangle means all sides are equal so here a b length b c length a c length all sides are equal when three sides of a triangles are equal their opposite angles are also equal that's why here all angles are also equal but we know sum of the three angles in a triangle is equals to 180 if you divide that 180 into three equal parts then every angle is 60 degrees or directly in equilateral triangle every angle is 60 degrees say for example here the length is 2a we are taking so all sides are 2a now here from the right axis here we are drawing one perpendicular line so this is say for example a d so a d is perpendicular to b c but in a equilateral triangle if you draw a perpendicular line from the opposite right axis to any side then it is acting as a angle bisector that means this angle is divided by two equal parts so that's why this BAD angle value 30 degrees and this angle also divided to 30 degrees.
Next, again this AD by perpendicular bisect divide this opposite side length into two equal parts. When this is total to A, then this is A and this one is also A. So, it AD divides BC into two equal parts. So, now we have to take one constant right angle triangle and we have to find the trigonometric ratios values of once 30 degrees next time for 60 degrees. So, here uh, let us consider let us consider an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle so that name is what ABC let us consider an equilateral triangle ABC so we know that AB length so here let all sides are equal AB length, BC length, CA length equals to 2A Next, we know that okay, we know that in an equilateral triangle, all angles are 90. Angle A equals to angle B and angle C, all are equals to 60 degrees. So every angle 60 degrees. Now draw AD AD such that such that AD is perpendicular to BC. So AD we are drawing is perpendicular to BC. Yeah. Now AD divides BC into two equal parts. Two equal parts. So therefore BD length equals to CD length equals to uh, half of the BC that means BC length is 2A by 2 that is equals to A A A and and AD acts as bisector of bisector of angle A so that means BAD value, BAD value and CAD value is equals to half of the 60 degrees. That means it is 30 degrees, 30 degrees. So <coughs> now we are considering triangle in triangle ABD, one triangle. So it is a one right angle triangle. See, in triangle a, B, D. So, this is A. This is 2A. So, A, B length is 2A. And B, D length is small A. Then we have to find A, D length. A, D length. Okay. Uh, by Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras. By Pythagoras theorem. So, a B square hypotenuse is this one. A B square equals to B D square plus A D square. So A B square means what? 2 A whole square equals to B D square means what? B D square value A square. A D value we don't know. We have to find. Therefore A D square equals to 4 A square minus A square. Then A D square equals to 3 A square. Then A D equals to root 3 into a square so <coughs> root 3 into a square means what root 3 into a square value root 3 into a so a d length is root 3 into a so that means this side is root 3 into a so this is 2a this is root 3a and this one is a so now we can find all trigonometric ratios value yeah. Now we can find trigonometric ratios values. So in that first one, okay, sine. Let us see for 30 degrees. When the angle is 30 degrees. So this one we are taking angle in this triangle. So when you take this one as angle, this is opposite side. This one is adjacent side, 
and this one is hypotenuse hypotenuse so your sin 30 means what the ratio between opposite side to hypotenuse the ratio between opposite side to hypotenuse so your opposite side is what opposite to 30 degree angle so a bd line that is a by hypotenuse value is what 2a so 1a 1a cancel so 1 by 2 will be left so sin 30 value is what 1 by 2 sin 30 value 1 by 2 same like that second one cos 30 cos 30 so the ratio between adjacent side to hypotenuse so your adjacent side is what root 3 into a by hypotenuse 2a a gets cancelled root 3 by 2 cos 30 value is root 3 by 2 next to third one is tan 30 tan 30 so tan 30 means the ratio between opposite side to adjacent side so opposite side opposite side value is what a by adjacent side value is what root 3 into a a cancel so 1 by root 3 tan 30 value 1 by root 3 next fourth one cosec 30 cosec 30 the ratio between hypotenuse to opposite side hypotenuse value is what 2a by opposite side value is what a so again a cancel 2 cosec 30 value is 2 next fifth one that is sec 30 so sec 30 means the ratio between hypotenuse to adjacent side hypotenuse value 2a and adjacent side value root 3 by a a cancel 2 by root 3 so last one that is cot 30 it is equals to the ratio between adjacent side to opposite side so adjacent side is what root 3 into a by opposite side is what a a cancel so the answer is root 3 So these are the six trigonometric ratios values. The angle value is 30 degrees. Sin 30 value 1 by 2. Cos 30 value root 3 by 2. Tan 30 value 1 by root 3. Cosec 30 value 2. Sec 30 value 2 by root 3. Cot 30 value root 3. Yeah. Now if you take this one as angle, so now we get angle 60. Again, we can find all trigonometry ratios value. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So now, first one that is sine sixty, sine sixty degrees. Now, when you take sixty degree side angle, this is opposite side. And uh, this one is adjacent side, and hypotenuse is remains constant. So sine theta sixty means what? The ratio between opposite side to hypotenuse. So your opposite side value is what? Root three into a by hypotenuse is what? A. A cancel. So two a. Hypotenuse is two a. A gets cancel. So root three by two. So sine sixty value root three by two. So same like the second one, cos sixty value the ratio between adjacent side to hypotenuse. So adjacent side value is what a by hypotenuse two a. A cancel one by two. So cos sixty value one by two. So same like the third one, tan sixty. So the ratio between opposite side to adjacent side opposite side to adjacent side opposite side are root 3 times of a by a a gets cancel so root 3 so tan 60 value root 3 next fourth one that is cosec 60 degrees so the ratio between hypotenuse to opposite side so hypotenuse value is what 2a by opposite side value is what Root three a a gets cancel two by root three two by root three. Next fifth one six sixty degrees 
360 degrees. The ratio between hypotenuse to adjacent side. So hypotenuse two times of A and adjacent side is A. A gets cancelled. So remaining two will be left. So cos 60 value two. Next uh, sixth one that is cot 60 degrees. So cot 60 degrees. So the ratio between adjacent side to opposite side. So adjacent side is what? Adjacent side A by opposite side root 3 times of A. A gets cancelled. So 1 by root 3. So sin 60 value root 3 by 2. Cos 60 value 1 by 2. Tan 60 value root 3. Cos 60 value 2 by root 3. Sex 60 value 2. Cot 60 value 1 by root 3.